Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and we're back down in the mines underneath this sort of new base location in the Obsidian Order. Now, I've just been kind of digging around. I'm having a lot of fun mining, so I'm not really sure what to do for episodes yet because I'm still just kind of mining stuff. So we've got a couple of the new things. We found some iron, found some copper, and we, I, I could hear a cave up here, but now I can hear the ocean, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what we... Do we, do we dig up? I don't know. But while we're talking, we'll, we'll discuss what we're going to do uh, from the Mirum series. So obviously, ah, there's the water. Oh, well, there go my torches. Um, hmm. Guess we uh, whoop, get rid of that. It's not necessary. We'll light this up again. So yeah, we, with the Mirum series, obviously that's had to take a little bit of a backseat. My health has been a little bit garbage at the moment. So please bear with me. Um, I'm hoping fingers crossed we can get another episode out in the next couple of weeks but it really is dependent on how my health holds up and that has not been fantastic I mean, I'm on a bunch of new medications and it's playing havoc with my system uh, we are, ha are also kind of at the mercy of 1.17 and Optifine and stuff like that I can still record the episodes in 1.16.2 in the world download I have and I think that is what we will do but we also need to kind of carry on with the building. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep building in 1.17. That'll be a focus as part of uh, this series is going to be to carry on using the new blocks to build up in Mirum. But when it comes to the actual episodes, that will be in the 1.16.2 world. And we won't see any of the new builds until, until that sort of... 1.17 Optifine and, and Replay Mod and stuff like that is available. Um, fingers crossed. It's not going to be... Oh god, I did it again. I did it again. Why do I keep doing this? Let's go see what's outside, actually. Because I don't really know what's around here. Some cobblestone. Is that... What's that? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here. Why can't I hear caves? I feel like I can hear caves. Right. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. As for this episode, I, I'm i not sure yet. I'm not sure what the plan is for this episode, but I want to make a start on the base. But I do need a lot of nether quartz for that, and, and whether I have that available, I don't know. Maybe we go to the nether, start mining out the, the tunnel back to spawn, and get some nether quartz along the way I, I will play around I've got a whole week I'm recording this earlier I've got a whole week to kind of get some resources together and plan this out so hopefully by the next clip we'll figure out what we're gonna do and we're back very quickly I this is where we flooded this tunnel before and I've dug a little bit further on I oh amethyst chime is this a geode I was looking at this and like, is this deep slate what is this Seriously, what is this? Can I just dump some garbage? Take that and that. And do we have any of that? I think we do, but we'll see. Get rid of the dirt and decide get out of here. Gravel that. Get out of here. What, what is this? Oh, smooth basalt. Okay, so yeah, this is the geode. In fact, we can actually gather a lot of this up because... Oh, we got some calcite too. Yes, I've been wanting to play with this, so... We found an emphasis. Now I don't this can't be the, the one at spawn, surely. Surely not. So let's just if it is, I'll have to break my way in and, and find out. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. Oh, no, there's creepers. It's definitely not. It's definitely not the one at spawn. Okay, well that is amazing because we can gather up this. We can actually harvest it. I could leave it and just have it beautiful, but I kinda wanna gather it all up. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. I think we know where the cave is now. I think it's right behind this wall, but we're not going to touch that. So I have found that you can't mine the bud blocks. I had a feeling that you could. But what we can do is remove all the blocks around it, which gives it more spaces to bud, which would mean a faster farm for it, maybe? Is that how it works? I don't really know. But I need to take a note of these coordinates, because obviously we can't do anything with this if we can't find our way back here. And I 
am notorious for getting lost. So yeah, we're gonna have to note these down and uh, do our best to, to not break any more of those buds. Well, we've cleared it. We're not actually gonna bother with the cave. I don't fancy losing this entirely amazing stash of goodies that we've got. I wanna try and make some of that special glass because I actually found if we make our way back, I found a zombie spawner and I think we could make a zombie spawner that's completely see-through. I think that could be fun. So I might look into that, how, how we make that glass and then uh, we'll go from there. So a slight deviation from the plan, we were going to be working on the spawner, but I actually bumped into Mad Dog, who I have been waiting to do a collab with for a long, long time. He's got some amazing builds that will be a link to his channel in the top corner now. And he's also down in the description as well, so definitely go check it out. There's some absolutely wonderful builds on the plateau, and I'm really interested to see what he does with these islands that he's now working on for the sort of season 1.5. So definitely worth checking out. So we're going to head over to the, the now, and these are clips that I took during his stream, where I jumped in and we had a good chat about things. This was the sewers network underneath the main town. Uh, main town area. If you can fly in here, yeah, I very did. nice. Um, yeah, it's a I skills was, test to see if you can fly in through that little gap. <laughs> I, I am very surprised that so, I yeah, pulled so that off. <laughs> it's on camera too. That's what you want. But yeah, yeah, so the whole idea was then also you know going through and adding in here and you can see all the little things that have been added to here after the fact, or the little <laughs> the um, little, little gnomes. And so you know having this sort of you know very sort of you know worn well sort of you know the well beaten track type thing that travels along here and then have sort of again some more little decorations some you know little ponds and then also this little camping area here that sort of reinforces that sort of this is a an area that is sort of people travel along and sort of rest up and stay here and have some of this pie you know, stuff like that, that's, uh, yeah, very cool. So it was sort of designed to sort of, I didn't want to have like big build, big build, big build all the way along. Cause I think yeah. you sort of, you need that ebb and flow. You, you do need the life spots in between. And I think that's what you've, you've nailed here is you've got these sort of bigger builds that are cohesive, but then in between you've, you've connected it with these life spots, these little bits that just tie it all together. That's kind of like what I've been doing at Miram is, is and, I've been and, trying and to keep that flow. Yeah, and it's also just it's also just a, a, a build, like an enjoyment factor. Like, you know, mm. I did a lot of physical building over there and then I can go over here and do some more landscaping type things. And it's the way of sort of, you know, reinforcing themes in areas before, um, you know, you really hit, um, you know, and this is, oh, so by the way, this is where the lag hits in. Yeah, so, I was just going to say I had a massive lag spike then. <laughs> So the, that lag spike is all the smoke and stuff over on the other plateau a little bit further, uh, which will start coming in shortly. But there's a lot of like armor stands and things like this here. So mm. this is my Roman inspired legionary fort. So the whole idea with the themes here is that um, when the town over there was abandoned, the king or emperor sent the legion over here in order to make secure this very prosperous farming plateau. And mm -hmm. so it didn't fall into hands and they could still use it. So this is sort of actually pretty accurately inspired by like an old Roman sort of fortification that the le a legion would sort of produce where you've got these sort of different tent styles, mm -hmm. you've got the larger tents here, and then you've got these smaller tents that have like, you know, little um, beds and things in there. Occasional one has some armor stands in too where some armor is located and the whole idea of having these sort of earthen and wooden sort of uh, walls where you've got the wall structure and then they would put some like planks down and then put like dirt and gravel in between the walls yeah, so the walls, the walls wouldn't be like yeah and so therefore they would be great for sort of protection against siege weapons and things like that just gonna quickly sleep and then yeah. i'll show you the the area that has probably been the most comprehensive in terms of the builds i knew mm. i needed a big bad um and then i started obviously the whole adele of the malevolent kicked in yes, and i thought yeah. to myself I needed I ne that. That's just too good a story to be true. But oh, um, yeah. uh, too good to be, you know. Um, and so, just quickly on this, one of the other things on the outsides is there's a couple of ballistas, uh, different siege engines here. Yeah, you've got the ballistas here. Oh, uh oh, drop there. Ooh. So the ballistas on this side, <laughs> and then on the other side that's you have catapult, the um, catapults. Yes, or, yeah, it's a catapult or trebuchet. Um, uh, and then, yeah, that's the idea is that this is the siege weapons that are uh, already yes. mid flight in terms of the attack. Yeah, over it's definitely to, a trebuchet, I think. 
what yeah with the with yes, the weight definitely. at the end there so um but yeah so this this then sort of they're under they're attacking the the big bad over here which is uh the deadlands biome um, oh, this, i love this land. build i love the tower just the fact that you've transformed this entire plateau into something so much more you know it was it was the most comprehensive transformation of all the mm. plateaus that it had and it was also i like the fact that it was separate I like the fact that it was a separate build from this from the other locations for, and so like it had this feeling that it was um uh, that it was a distinct area unto itself and uh i wanted to just quickly um i don't have connected textures on so it's showing all the blocks of glass under there but yeah but the, yeah same. The, the sort of the the, the glow you still get the fog effect. effect yeah you yeah, still get you the, still the fog get effect and so we've got these ideas that, that this is the bastion of Adela the Malevolent, the evil sorceress who has come to oppress the plateaus, the obsidian plateaus, um, with her evil and with her magic. And um, it uh, was when the, all the Blackstone, I knew I wanted to do something with the Blackstone and Basalt, mm. and it just it lends itself perfectly to a big evil sort of build and, oh, and castle and things like that. So this is um, where her, uh, her bastion is, and you can see the M's in the purple of the... Uh, here, this oh yeah, is, you can too. Uh, I never actually Adela. noticed that in the videos. Yeah, <laughs> it's very effective because nice. it sort of looks like a tower with the with the um, emerald above it, mm. with the, the glowing thing above it. So it's like a tower with the gem floating above it. But then it's also got the the M on it as well for the malevolent. Um, I think in there, there's something very uh, sort of sinister as well about having just a very tall space, open space. It's it's like you walk in here and you are instantly drawn upwards to that and you just I don't know you just feel like there's something that's wrong with it which yeah and it feels from threatening the, I was gonna say especially from your perspective too because that's a cage holding a person up there and that person might be someone that we know um in this room how it's me <laughs> <laughs> it is you. It is you. I wanted to uh, add in a few people from uh, around the, from the server into the build here. So you've got this sort of like area with some spikes and some pools of blood underneath it. I, as well. I love that for all the malevolence and horrible stuff going on, she has a pet pig just just well, sitting yeah, in the back I'm here. Still getting, <laughs> they, they spawn. Um, they spawn um, on the sort of grass area around and walk up, which, look, yeah, they do break the ambiance a little bit, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so I've got these little squid people. I, I killed lots of squids um, until this. a lot of these were before we could buy the heads, and then, of course, we could buy the heads. But I, mm. I got all these squid people, and these are sort of like Adela's minions, and um, and they're here mining and twirling away with this little, um, uh, you know, little, uh, sm small little, uh, what's it called? Crane. Uh, uh, yeah, I love this little not, crane. Yeah, it's like a little crane. Yeah, like a lift yeah, type a winch, crane. And, a winch. Um, a winch, that's the one. And uh, yeah, just ferrying out these sort of ominous dark, you know, purple crystals that are sort mm. of the source of her magic. But yeah, I really liked this. I liked the, the, the smoke coming off the land, almost like it's charred. And then obviously yeah. the, the big glowing crystal at the top here, which is um, a, you know, there's just something about a big glowing glass crystal still with mm. some end rods in it just to illuminate the area at night time there's just yeah it's very nice this is my favorite spot to come and stand and just it's a good view out over the area full full, Whoa, diamond, full armor. diamond armor holy, holy moly have you got oh my goodness i've never i've only seen that in bedrock oh my goodness that is amazing i just to screenshot that i have never i've never seen one in java and it's all it's all enchanted diamond as well isn't it you know, it so. is even the pants, thinking. maybe? Yeah, the pants are enchanted too, I think. Yeah, I Do think you want the honours there? Um, um, have you got looting? <laughs> I do, I do have looting. He takes a beating. Ooh, he's, he's a tough, he's a tough dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he's still going. <laughs> wow. Oh, there he goes. Did we, we get go. any out of wow. that? No, I don't think we did. Ah, Imagine that. Wouldn't that be awesome if you did that's that? That's amazing. Do you know what? There's, there's a trick in Bedrock, because in Bedrock, if you convert them to Drowned, all of the armor that's equipped pops off at full health. Oh, so you can no actually way. get, if you got a full diamond enchanted zombie, you could just convert it to a Drowned. All of the armor would fall off at full health. That's crazy. And you've got yourself a diamond, I said diamond armor. That is insane. It's, it, was, well, it was very broken. 
<laughs> as Bedrock yes, can yes, be. Yes, is, <laughs> I do love this game though. Like uh, this game is so broken in so many ways. It's like yeah, but that's just, part uh, of the I, charm. I do, like if everything I worked as it should, I don't think it'd be as charming as it is. They loved it. So yeah. Well, thank so you very much it, for the no, show, Ryan. I appreciate it. My pleasure thank you been a long time coming it has so been we, we've been planning this for like six or seven months but we've all been like busy with other projects or stuff's just not lined up and i'm notoriously hot i know we're only like a, about an hour's difference between each other and the time difference but i'm just notoriously hard to get a hold of <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and for me, like I'm I'm a nighttime player. I'm playing after the kids are in bed, after I've mm -hmm. set them all, you know, or they're asleep and everything like that. So I'm not on usually until like eight thirty, nine o'clock my time, which is ten thirty your time. So we 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 theoretically align, and we keep missing each other by like an hour. I, you know, the amount of times I've logged on, as just as I'm on, about to head and off, and you're just about yeah. to hop off. I know it's just the way it is. But at least at least I get to see you. Unfortunately, being on the far side of the world, it can be a bit lonely here sometimes it, it so, can can't it like when you come to like collabs and minecraft and stuff like that you jump on you're like yeah i can't wait to play with my friends and you jump on you're like they're not here <laughs> no that's right that's right and there's some such amazing people here on this server oh, that we I've, I've, we, I've, we have hit a, a real blessing having it with this server the server's got some absolutely fantastic members and i absolutely love playing on here and we've got some cool new members as well, which I'm oh. excited to sort of play with these people again because uh, I've known them from Craftaway and other servers um, for a couple of years now. And uh, yeah, it's no, really fun. great people there. And I think there's a bit of like I've known for, you know Mantis for ages, going back to the Wells Not Patreon server, and you mm. know just ha and 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 O Team after that. So yeah, it's been it's great. It's it's really really yeah, it's a fantastic server. I think that's why. Yeah, for me, it was never a question of yes or no. OT, uh, you know, coming back to uh, you know, the Obsidian Order for me, coming back into Minecraft, it was just me, just really getting back into Minecraft itself, mm. and just trying to you know get myself motivated again to enjoy all all of this. And uh, yeah, I'm back, mate. I'm absolutely back. That's for sure. So yeah, loving it. Uh, but that is it. That is the tour. Thank that's you very Obsidian much. Obsidian Plateaus. That's wonderful. Where, uh, where we're saying goodbye, actually, and to over to the new builds over in the 1.17 land, which is very exciting. So, anyway, thank you for that. Thank you for no coming. Worries. I appreciate it. Thanks for the show. No problem. Yep, yep, all good. Well, there you go. You can see the Mad Dog is a very cool gentleman. And he's also my Australian brother as such. <laughs> we are, It's very hard to collab with people here in New Zealand, but... It's nice having someone from Australia on the server because it does make things a little easier. Our time zones kind of match up a little better. But definitely go check him out. Definitely worth the look. And yeah, I shall see you next episode. We'll probably be working on the zombie spawner then for that episode. So I'll see you then. Bye.